so it is Sunday night. This is Kendra speaking, by the way. I'm having some tea. Just watching Baby Daddy because they took it off Netflix. And I hate when Netflix does that with some of my favorite shows. Yeah, I got my candles going. This is kind of what it looks like in my room pretty much at night. Yeah, I always have my candles lit. And this is just the vibes that I look forward to every day pretty much. Um, those flickers on the end though um, are actual candles. They're called like flameless flicker lights or something. Yeah, they're from Pottery Barn. Also, if you guys are wondering what I watch these Baby Daddy episodes on, I watch them on Amazon Video now. Like I said, they took them off Netflix. So anytime Netflix takes off one of my favorite shows, I just go to Amazon Video and watch it there. So if you guys were curious, this is what I watch it on. And I think we're going to have to watch Pretty Little Liars on here too because Netflix also took that off. So I feel like every time they add new stuff on Netflix, they take it away. So that's really frustrating. And they have gone up on the monthly fee for Netflix. So um, that's really annoying. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So it is Monday and I'm just about to do a face mask. Um, Kelsey and I went to get our nails done earlier and our toes, my toes really needed to be done. Um, my nails weren't as bad, but I wanted to just go ahead and get that out of the way. So, if you guys are wondering, was this in my hair as deep conditioner? So, I just had this plastic cap on it, so I'm deep conditioning and masking. You can join me if you'd like, you know, pause this video, go put deep conditioner in your hair and, you know, apply a face mask with me. Um, Kelsey and I are just prepping or getting ready to um, go on a end of summer trip. We're going to the Bahamas at the end of the week and I'm really excited because the last time we were in the Bahamas was I think two years ago with curls. It was a curls trip or well, like a brand trip. So oh, this is the mask that I'm using. It's from a brand called Rosen and it's their tingling mud mask. So that is what that looks like. It's really good. If you guys are wondering if I have made a trip to the dermatologist yet, I have not uh, because I'm determined to try to get my skin as clear as possible without getting on a retinoid. Uh, I do use retinol at night. Um, retinol is uh, a less potent version of retinoid pretty much. But I will say it's clearing up pretty well with the routine that I'm currently using. Um, I learned to use less with my skincare routine because first of all, I don't feel like doing all those steps at night. Second of all, I feel like less is more when it comes to skincare. So if you use like a good like three steps in your routine um, with products that are really, really good that work well with your skin type, I feel like you'll be good to go. And I feel like masking has also been helping me as well. This one is really good. It has tea tree oil and zinc oxide in it. It says mask for breakouts plus bumps. I have a couple of little post hormonal breakouts, um, but that's about it. And I feel like my only issue with my skin now is uh, pretty much dark spots and they are just really annoying. They're fading, but I just wish they would fade faster. I'm actually gonna start packing after I apply this mask even though it's Monday, so I feel like ahead of the game with packing because I usually wait like two days before or the day before sometimes, but I'm trying to be proactive and not stress myself out because when I wait till the last minute, that's when I get stressed out. So I like to just get it out of the way, you know, and Kelsey and I are going to be filming a video tomorrow, so I'm not going to have time. Um, I think our Jackie Ina uh, palettes came in today and I'm really excited to film with that because I've been saying a lot of looks with it and i've seen a lot of looks that she's done with it and it's a really pretty palette so i'm excited but i'm like dreading to pack i hate packing but i like packing ahead of time so that i can make sure i have everything i need the only downside is i'm bringing a carry-on and i don't know how i feel about a carry-on because i feel like every time i go on a trip with a carry-on size luggage I feel like it's not enough room for me like I just get really anxious because first of all when you travel with your um, natural hair everybody with curly hair knows that it's very high maintenance especially when you go on vacation you don't know if you're gonna get it wet if you're gonna have to restyle it so I just decided of course I'm going to do like a regular wash and go 
after I rinse this out, like put whatever product I want in it. And however long that wash and go lasts, it's just gonna have to last through this trip. And if it's looking a hot mess, I'm just gonna put it in a bun because that's like my go-to uh, protective style when my hair is not presentable to wear, you know, down like out. So I'm just gonna do a bun and like bring a bunch of conditioner. We went to Target today to get like some travel size items and I got like a bunch of like mini conditioners. Uh, in the travel section so i'm just gonna bring those and wear my hair in a bun when my wash and go you know gives up on me even though my wash and goes last pretty long i can make them last for about a week so we shall see but i already have all my stuff that i'm supposed to pack um already to the side because i've been like putting like bikinis to the side that i want to wear and different little outfits and stuff so i'm kind of already packed but not packed up if that makes sense probably not anyway everything that i'm bringing i already put to the side i just haven't put it in my luggage yet so yeah this brand this rosen brand i've really been loving i also love their cleanser kelsey put me onto this this is the earth cleanser so that is what that looks like so I really love this cleanser. If you guys are looking for a new cleanser, I ordered this online on their website and it's rosenskincare.com, but this is currently sold out last time I was on there. So you can like, you know, order it and then they'll ship it to you when they get more in. But I'm obsessed with this cleanser. If you have skin like mine, I'm sure it will work well. I have oily skin, sometimes combination. So it says uh, earth cleanser, fuller's earth, clay plus zinc dioxide plus eucalyptus a cream cleanser for active breakouts um although i do like gel cleansers this is the only cream cleanser that actually works on my skin type and the eucalyptus and it makes your skin feel really minty and just really nice so i highly recommend it love that and it, i noticed when i did have like active breakouts it cleared them up a lot faster so yeah this stuff is bomb and it's not even like super super expensive because i feel like i don't really put a price on skincare if it works i'll use it if it's like really cheap if it's really expensive i'll try it once and if it works i'm just gonna keep using that and if i'm not impressed with it i'll try something different when that product is gone so that's how i do with skincare also another favorite product that i've been loving that i'm obsessed with uh, is this um honey saver by pharmacy is their all-in-one skin repair solve and i call it honey solve all my problems kelsey laughs at me every time i say this but it's so so good if you guys don't know honey has like a lot of good benefits for your skin i know like the egyptians used to use it back in the day so it's like been used since like ancient times honey is really good for your skin and i don't know why but when i get like really stressed out i don't even know if you guys can see here i get like this rash on my neck like some some people when they get stressed out like they'll have like active breakouts or they'll get like just random things happen stress is just not good just don't do it but not knowingly sometimes when i stress out or if i'm overwhelmed about something i get a rash on my neck and kelsey always notices when i get it this works so fast like when i tell you it goes away super fast when i put this on and sometimes i will use this instead of my moisturizer at night and put this over uh top of my nighttime skincare routine and it's a bomb it doesn't break you out it doesn't clog your pores and it's like a kind of like ointment texture and you would think that it would clog your pores but it doesn't it just creates like this nice glow and it's really nourishing and hydrating for your skin so i really love it i got it off sephora so this is my second tube and i'm still obsessed i'm certainly going to be using this during the winter time i feel like this is mine and kelsey's first vacation all summer because honestly like being in my feed i feel like i've been seeing people in bikinis like all summer and i'm not gonna lie i've been having a little bit of fomo but that's okay we're gonna solve that problem because bahamas here we come um yeah i need to stop rambling and pack oh yeah um i don't know if kelsey brought it up to you guys but i'm sure she did she told you guys that i have been going to the chiropractor lately and some of y'all have probably been thinking what she going to the chiropractor for i remember when i was younger i used to think it was for old people 
but it's for anybody who pretty much if you're injured from like if you play a sport or if you've had um, any kind of back pain or if you feel like you need to go pretty much like you do your research that, that's what I always recommend first do your research and then see if you feel like it's um, something that would benefit you but I definitely think it has helped me because like a year and a half, almost two years ago, I was having this really bad pain in the right side of my neck and I brought it up to my doctor, like my regular doctor, and they didn't say anything was wrong. So I was still in like, I wouldn't even really call it pain, like I take that back. I would say it was major discomfort because pain is a strong word, like everything doesn't really hurt to me, like it's either uncomfortable or painful. I would say this is more uncomfortable and my neck is really, really tight on this side. And I was told by my mother that I should probably uh, try a chiropractor and I've been loving it. I've been going for about a month and a half, almost two months, and I really love it. So it's really been helping. If you guys don't know, like your spine is connected to the, almost everything. I'm probably not that accurate, but your spine is basically like, it affects a lot of things in your body if you aren't aligned properly. So since I've been going to the chiropractor, like I felt a lot better, like my neck and just everything has been functioning properly. I don't know why, but every time like I feel better with one thing, another thing follows. I don't know if that's just me projecting uh, with everything else, but once my body started to feel better, my skin started clearing up. I also think because I've been drinking more water, please drink your water because I'm not going to lie. I have my days where I just gulp it down and some days where I'm like, not doing that great with my water intake so drink as much water as you can yeah i've been loving going to the chiropractor so my neck is feeling a lot better and it was really uncomfortable to sleep i was just miserable so i wasn't that nice um all the time so when if you've ever had like any kind of discomfort or any kind of pain in your body or whether it's back pain or neck pain any kind of discomfort let me stop using pain because some people pain and discomfort are different to some people but you know how frustrating it can be so i've been my neck she's she's a lot better now so we just got the jackie inus palette in this packaging i'm obsessed with the texture so pretty oh look at the iridescent little rainbow oh i love that okay so here's the outside same packaging in a way so iridescent got the nice texture there is this snake print it looks like snake print Ooh, love these this is calling my name the neutrals are pretty too oh i love these so i just got done organizing our wallflower drawer these are our little wallflower fill-ins what you call those i think you call them um refills these things yeah little plugs you plug in the wall so um, and these are really strong, so you only need like, if you have upstairs, downstairs, you probably need like one downstairs, one upstairs. Um, and we have some, I think we have one in each bathroom too, so. Yeah, I love these. I'm obsessed. And they always have a sale, so it's hard not to buy them. Today's Thursday and we are in the Bahamas. Um, we're on vacation and we're here for five days and... I'm glad to finally be on a vacation. We haven't been anywhere since, we haven't been anywhere since our birthday. <laughs> and that was in November of last year. So I'm happy to finally be on vacay. And we wanted to come back to the Bahamas because um, the last two times we came, the first time we came was like on a cruise, but that kind of really didn't count because they drop you off, like kind of like field trip style. And you don't really get to stay like overnight. Well, so, like, I don't really count that as, like, actually visiting for real. Like, we came, but we didn't. And then the other time we went was with curls. So, I'm happy to be back because it was beautiful when we um, came. Um, we're going to do the Exuma um, little thing that we did last time uh, with curls. But we're going to do the same thing plus the pigs. Because uh, we didn't get to do the pigs last time because they said it was, like, further out. So, um, because the trip is a little longer to go to, um, Pig Island and Exuma. So last time we only saw the iguanas, even though Kendra and I kind of didn't see it because how the boat was, you had to like swim to shore and we can't swim. So we saw the iguanas from afar. <laughs> I just want to see the pigs. I'm really excited to see them. So yeah, we're doing that on Sunday. 
so uh we're not gonna do anything today because we're kind of tired even though the flight was super quick but the whole travel process is kind of long day. yeah the whole day gets kind of long our flight was only like it barely took two hours it was like hour maybe an hour and 30 minutes so it was super quick uh, we got a smaller room because <clears throat> sometimes we'd be like extra with rooms when we go on vacation but the last place we went we got a super big room was Turks and Caicos and we did we really didn't use the living room we just used like the kitchen area um, but we wanted to do a smaller cozier room but we did get like an ocean view room it's a really cute bathroom uh, they have like little shutter uh, things right there very beachy uh, I don't know why they don't have two sinks. I wish I had two sinks with like two mirrors. Toilet and then I'm right in front of the shower. Yeah, so this is the shower. I really like this like holographic glass. It's so cool. That's the front door right there. And then just a wall with like a random shelf. TV, bar area, mini bar. Little couch right there. Um, king size bed because we don't mind sharing. And, and when Kendra sleeps in the bed with me, I kind of don't even feel her there. She's not really a wild sleeper. Am I a wild sleeper? No. Yeah, I don't, I've been told that like people like don't even realize I'm in the bed. So yeah, very simple room. Like honestly, we just came to go back to Ex Exuma to, to be honest. Oh, you like this? I locked it. <laughs> like why can't I open this? <laughs> How do you unlock this thing? Let me do no, let me do it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Wait, it's already open. I thought you said you locked it. I locked. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, the sun's not out, so you can't see how bright the water is. But we're right above the pool. So our food came. I got some coconut shrimp and some truffle fries. We got some cookies, some asparagus. And then this is Kendra's. She got pesto vegetable pasta. I think that's what that is. Looks good. Why are you eat my fries though? And then water with some crushed ice. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So it is Friday evening and Chelsea and I are on our way to dinner. So our beach day got cut short today because it started raining, unfortunately. So we were just really annoyed and sticky and sandy. And we came back, took showers, ate some lunch, and we're gonna redo our beach day tomorrow. So, fingers crossed that it goes well and it's nice and sunny and there's no rain. Um, I don't really mind if it rains as long as I'm not outside, so. Not on vacation. But not on vacation, no one prefers it to rain, so. Yeah, but we're gonna go to dinner now. What's the name of this restaurant? Three Ties, whatever that is. She said it's seafood, so. Did you look at the menu? I saw some of the pictures. It just, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of, I found a lot of fish. A lot of fish. So, I wasn't craving meat for dinner. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll have like a meatless option. Because yesterday, I think it's so weird that we're in the Bahamas. Because yet, last night, Kelsey and I were watching the Food Network. And I don't know the name of this show. But they were like butchering this pig. And it was very uncomfortable for me. I was like, this is just not right. It was very barbaric. And I was just not okay with watching it and i think it's weird because we're going to see the pigs this weekend in, in exuma so i i thought that was weird you think that was weird why is it weird because like we was looking at that pig it like sliced like a piece of cake and then we're going to see the pigs on sunday well yeah like i felt bad i yeah. didn't i didn't like it i mean so. but i don't eat pig anyway so. yeah we don't really eat pork like that not or ever yeah. i think i eat pork every now and then when i have like a burger from shake shack but now i'm not gonna export yeah not that often yeah. but still it's just weird so on our way to dinner food's gonna be good fingers crossed and it's not gonna rain tomorrow that's the plan
guys so it's the end of the day um kendra and i are about to get ready to go to dinner we had a successful beach day today because yesterday wasn't that great i think kendra told y'all we got rained on but today was gorgeous yeah we're about to go to dinner we're going to an italian restaurant tonight it's called Falia. i have the name here um but the place that we ate at last night was pretty good um the fish was really good i usually don't eat mushrooms but for some reason last night i was craving them and they were so good so the sauteed mushrooms might be my new jam because that was bomb but tonight we're having italian i'm gonna try not to eat anything too heavy even though i heard they have a kale pizza that's pretty bomb i might try that but i've heard a lot of good things about this restaurant that's why i wanted to eat here when i was doing my research because i like to research food because you know i'm a foodie most people when they go places they be trying to research like clubs and stuff i'm like no where the food at i'm trying to research restaurants because you know you gotta eat i did like really like minimal makeup um and then i had to co-wash my hair because for some reason my hair it just wasn't looking right since i've been here and I just co-washed it in the shower with the uh, OGX coconut uh, conditioner. I had like some little mini ones. So I co-washed with that and then I just put some of my Garnier Frutis um, leave-in conditioner in it with my Living Proof No Frizz conditioner. So I'll show y'all what I use, but it's kind of wet right now, but it feels so much better because my hair just, when I first got here, just felt really waxy and greasy. I don't know why, because I used that gel before the, um, uncle fuck his daughter gel because you use that one a lot and kendra used it you use, in it's hair. in your hair now so i don't understand why it didn't turn out that great in mine so that just goes to show how different our hair is but yeah my hair didn't turn out that great so i had to redo it this lighting is so dull i guess because the sun is going down i don't look very radiant i look like ashy looking so this is what i co-washed with the nourishing coconut milk conditioner um, so yeah, I really like this. I brought two just in case. Um, so I co-wash with that and then after that I just put this in. This is the Garnier Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. This is like an OG product for me. So by the way, I got all this stuff out of the travel section, of course, because I was not trying to check a bag on vacay. Well, not a tropical vacation anyway, because all my clothes are small. And then this is the living proof conditioner I used. It's empty. I used the whole thing because it's not as thick as that Garnier one. So I used this too. So yeah, that's all I did to my hair. And it feels and looks so much better. It's already drying, so yeah. By the way, this is the dress I'm wearing. It's from Meshki. You guys saw it in one of our hauls. Super cute. I wish I had some cute sandals to go with this because I really don't feel like putting no heels on. Yeah, but I wish I could really wear the slides I'm wearing because my dress is off already. It's well, very not these. These are hotel hotel slippers. slippers. <laughs> not these. <laughs> That's super cute. Where'd you get that from? This is from Pretty Little Thing.
guys um i hope you can hear me well it's kind of windy out here um but it is uh, monday we leave tomorrow but we didn't really talk to the camera that much yesterday because we got up super early to go to exuma we didn't get a chance to talk to the camera because once, once we got to the place uh that was doing the uh like the whole boat charter it was a company called pieces of eight um that we uh went with and they connected us with them here at sls and they were amazing like their staff was super nice and just very nice people so if you ever want to do like a boat tour sorry this is getting like foggy uh it's humid out here so that's why I'm trying to clean the lens off we forgot last time how sore we were after our boat trip last time because it's a speed boat so you're going extremely fast and if your bite is kind of tense because you're trying to like hold on so you won't fly out the boat but i feel like i got in a car accident <laughs> I'm so sore, my neck is killing me. But it was honestly so worth it because it was gorgeous. That's why I always like to come back to the Bahamas to go to Exuma because it's like, it's just beautiful. We're gonna buy an island on Exuma one day. It's so pretty. We saw uh, Tyler Perry's house. He has a uh, house. I didn't even know he had a house in the Bahamas. But yeah, it's our last day. Uh, tonight we're going to Katsuya. It's a sushi uh, restaurant, so I wanted to do something light tonight because I haven't been that hungry. I've been more tired than anything, just like really sleepy because I haven't been sleeping that well. I usually don't sleep that well on vacation anyway. I don't know why, I just don't. I mean, most people sleep better in their own beds. So yeah, Ugh. Yo, I'm so sore. Like every little move I make, like my back and my neck, but like I said, anything is worth that view well not anything but how sore i feel right now is worth that gorgeous beautiful view it just is hey guys it's kendra so it is monday night and kelsey and i are getting ready to go to dinner this is our last dinner here in the bahamas we're going to katsuya this is our first time um i think they have well i'm sure they have other locations because i've heard of the name before um i think they have one in la or they used to have one yeah so it's sushi right yeah it's, sushi. it's a sushi place and yeah i'm excited i don't want to like have too many high hopes because i feel like every time a restaurant is super popular it's just overrated and like kind of basic when you eat the food so i'm going in optimistic but not expecting like the most amazing food ever <laughs> um if you guys are wondering about the hotel that we're staying at if you want to know if we would recommend it yes and no yes if you don't mind like a party kind of spring break ish vibes hotel um because i feel like they don't know what they want to do as far as who they're selling to like um if they want to do like a family vibes hotel like if it's like a disneyland vibe or if they want to do like a vegas casino vibe yeah. but i feel like they should just go the adult route mm -hmm. because they already have a casino here because it was just really weird like they had like a pool party going on like the last two days um like right over our balcony at like the it's called the privilege pool and it, the music was so loud and but then they have like a like a bunch of kids and families here also so I, i'm just i was confused <laughs> so like i didn't know like if they want to be like we were saying earlier kelsey said is this epcot or is this vegas yeah it would give me like two different vibes <laughs> So yeah, two different vibes, kind of confusing. But it is overall a nice hotel, it's clean. Nice. It's very, very nice. So I would recommend it as far as the actual hotel, but as far as like the atmosphere, it feels kind of like spring breaky to me. With but kids. with a bunch of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that was um, descriptive enough because I don't know how else to describe it. Honestly, all the kids I've been seeing look so miserable. Yeah, like the kids, a lot of the kids look miserable. It's just like, I'm like, it's not an environment for kids yeah um so i feel like it should be one or the other like not not both yeah like so. some of the kids on the beach yeah like the, not kids but like some of the babies on the beach yeah like well, they the had like little babies on the beach but then it was like other people partying i was just lost i wouldn't want my baby at this hotel <laughs> <laughs> but this is my look very simple i had to like kind of concoct this bun and bun in the shower like started but i had to go to the gift shop yesterday to get a brush 
This is all I could find. Look at this itty bitty brush. It's doing the job. But it's, it's, it did its job, but I usually like my buns a little bit tighter than this, so it's still kind of like not as sleek as I would like it. But, and Kelsey has some edge control, thank God, because conditioner alone would not have saved this. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm going with. Um, but I'm glad I had hoops to kind of bring the look together because I feel like I would have looked still kind of plain without it. Oh, and... I'm not wearing hoops. I'm wearing the same dress. Well, I've got a side part that helps. Again. Yeah, I have like a straight back bun. Your side, your part's to the side, so it looks more like something special. Kelsey and I are wearing matching dresses. She's wearing hot pink, and I'm wearing this purple one. They're from Naked Wardrobe. Um, so, really cute. We never dress alike since we were like, what, 10? Nine. Probably younger. Eight. Yeah. Very, very young. So, this is new. <laughs> but those are so exciting. We look cute. So, Kelsey's wearing a hot pink one. I'm yes. Purple. That way, she has heels color. on. Yeah, I'm wearing heels already. She doesn't have her shoes on yet. But we're going to try my tan to get foundation. a mirror pick. Cause yeah, because so we tan. have gotten so much darker, obviously, on this trip because the Bohemian um, sun is no joke. But we applied sunscreen, so don't worry, folks. <laughs> but yeah, we're off to dinner. Fingers crossed that it's good. And yeah, it's our last night in the Bahamas. But I'm excited to go home. You know, towards the end of, end of a trip where you're just like, it was, it was fun, it was relaxing, but you're like getting antsy to go back home and like get stuff done. That's where I am right now. So we're back home. Excuse me if I looked extra oily. Um, I like to be moisturized when I'm on the plane. Well, extra moisturized because I'm always moisturized. But I'm happy to be home. Um, it's a good thing we went ahead and came home today because there was supposed to be a hurricane, I think, that was on the way to the Bahamas. So we left just in time. I'm nice and sun kissed. So it was a great trip. Happy to be home. Oh, by the way, I got this t-shirt there. Super cute. But yeah, I'm about to take a shower and do my hair and just wind down and relax because we have to go to an event tomorrow. I'm using this Aunt Jackie's. Well, this first. This is the Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy. So this is a detangler. I've never used these before, so this is gonna be my first time using these. And this is the Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. I heard a lot of great things about this, so I'm excited to try it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm kind of tired. Well, actually, I'm really tired. Atlanta Airport in itself is a journey. Okay. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So Kelsey and I got back from the Bahamas yesterday, and we have still yet to unpack. But we are headed to go to an event. It's for this event called 29 Rooms, and we're going with Shea Moisture. So... Um, we're going to be hanging out there tonight for the evening and we're leaving early. It starts at six. It is now four ish, but we have to leave early because y'all know Atlanta traffic and you know, you have to leave about 10 hours early. So, 10 hours early. um, I washed my hair last night and I just put it up in this half up, half down situation. So, you know, I can look, you know, more put together. I don't feel like wearing it out right now. So this style is what I went with. So I'm extremely tan and I can't find any foundation colors that match my beautiful bohemian tan right now. So this is the closest that I could find. So yeah. <laughs> 